How are you? Good I'm good, man. So, so, yes, so where are you located? I'm in Ocean State, Nigeria. Okay, Ocean State. Someone said love has shown me enough shaggy. I'm so done. You guys, don't give up on love. Oh. No matter how much shaggy that you love show you, take that shaggy and learn the lesson. Don't throw away love. Don't throw away the baby with the bad water. Love is still good. Just because some people mm. are bad, doesn't make doesn't mean that love is no more good. Love is good. God is love. Ma, if you if you're betrayed once, like deeply hurt, someone will get scared when it comes to love and relationships. I'm relationship forty five years old, and I'm pretty sure none of my followers can have been betrayed by love as much as I have. I just had somebody who I dated steal over thirty thousand US dollars from me. Trust me, I almost lost my life because of that. But I still believe in love. Just because there's 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 scam artists that use romance to scam people out of money doesn't mean that love mm -hmm. is no more good. You just have to learn. Ma, can I can I share my little story when it comes to just little? I want I don't want to share yes. that much. Go ahead. At the age of thirteen, you know, I was diagnosed of um tuberculosis of the spine which affected my movements when it comes to walking i'm disabled but with the grace of god and my beautiful parents i went back to school thank god i gained that i didn't mean i don't have any education at all to be worse so i met the father of my kids way back as a two using crutches wow. he knew the, the whole thing so we went on like that i gained admission you know before the end of uh before i was through with the university you know we gave back with uh for, to our first son so second after that you know there is this um there is uh, there is no much gap between first and second born if you don't plan well it's just happened with oh, it before, before, before you even know what is going on yes before you even know before you even get yourself yeah. yes absolutely yeah. so after that so we're just planning okay i'm out of school already what can we do well, i said i'm good when it comes to you know to advise him let's do this let's do that he will say oh okay go for a professional course say oh no leave me at the end of the day he went did you he stopped for me did he go to school with you no different school okay but you both went to university but instead of instead of going to, yeah instead of going to the instead of going to university he went to a polytechnic so he went there to complete his um HND. and things change. He stopped coming home. I will call, 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 call. Hey, why are you not coming? You tell me, okay, I'm busy. Okay, no problem. Because my mind was happy that okay, I don't need to, you know, follow him around or question him for anything. We already has two kids. He can think or he can he can think by himself. So I don't need to just paint any any kind of picture and he said okay i started using a uh, walking stick going to physiotherapy changed uh, the well um, crutches gave me one walking stick to support my oh, wow. movement and happens like that but if you see me you will know this is obvious because dragging one leg bending before you know but i thank god because i know where i was coming from was on the wheelchair for for the period of two three years mm -hmm. so he stopped coming i will call 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 he finished from school he didn't even bother he changes uh where he was staying you know it's still like that you know this is instagram the uh, hair and i open instagram page i search for his name that was about 2014 2015 2016. i will not get him on instagram so one particular night like that i was just alone and just like somebody speaking to me myself that go and open instagram i said i already have instagram page so that was even why my mom has instagram account up to today i opened it for her you know the contact to synchronize bring the anyone that has a contact bring them uh -huh, uh -huh. clicking on his account like this i saw beautiful pictures couples pictures husband and wife in you know same clothes and, and stuff like that i started to screenshot all those pictures and all like that so just he, he couldn't sleep that night despite not telling him what happened he was busy chatting me up why are you not sleeping by two three o'clock in the night i was like oh, don't worry i don't just feel like sleeping second morning i couldn't just take it my mom was just like take it easy please i beg you in god's name i know this is not easy second morning i have to call him please come home we have to talk he came and i handed my phone over to him that see what is happening he said where 
he deleted all those pictures not knowing i already put it in my drive uploaded it in my google drive he deleted those, those pictures so i now said he said take your phone down there is no picture here he said ah, ah wait wait even if i don't upload it i already send it to my friends to have as a backup i downloaded it again from google drive gave it back to him okay take he said eh hey, you are the cause yeah hey, hey, this is not my fault yeah because you won't even check on me i said ah with two kids at home check on you asking you change your 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 place i asked to come you tell me oh don't worry take care of the babies at home he left hmm. ma 2016 17 i was like i was only i was the only child uh i'm the only child of my mom so i was of the opinion that okay i have two kids let me just get one more and i will just forget about him totally instead of going from one place to the other you know you understand so i now went okay begging him to even come and have sex so <laughs> not to talk <laughs> or yeah, that's so. very interesting but yes go ahead. not to talk of pregnancy you know when you are paying as a lady but still you still have to you know forget it you know what that's, you are doing in your mind I that's, come in now. That's, I that's, you now. Very, that's very different for me for you to I, actually want to and, and that's why i tell people we are all so different the way we think the way mm, our mind yes. works you are right yeah. again man never where the exposure on a maturity matters a lot because me personally people always ask me because i'm a christian people always ask me how why do you have two children for the same for for two different men i'm like i think I'll be mad if I will have one child for a man that hasn't married me, and then after five years, come on that child for what? Man, because you were exposed, you could just decide on your own. Absolutely. If I have this kind of mentality, then this kind of maturity, then ma, I will even stop at one because you're seeing all those things, or you're carried away with someone you think, oh, this person care, and this guy, you know. I don't know how to put it. It ruined my mental health. It ruined let, my let service me, because I couldn't do it. You're not alone. Like, I, I think that is so sad that we live in a society where some people don't think about their actions. Because the truth mm. of the matter is, I am here with you. I am a single mom. I'm the first child of my parents. I'm the first grandchild of both grandparents. I am a leader in a lot of different ways. But I almost took my own life when I thought I, I felt like I was stupid enough to let a guy, this guy is quite honestly so dumb, he's almost an imbecile to me. But he I, he conned me out of over 30k. I'm like, what the like I couldn't live with myself. I was so mad at myself. And so this emotion thing is very dangerous. So for those people who are not courageous enough and they say, you know what, I give up. I don't even blame them. I don't blame them. Because the truth is that it can preserve your life if you even say, I'm not, I'm giving up. But I still believe that there's beauty in love. Love, love is love, but you need courage to be in love. It took me a while to get over the 30K. But the truth of the matter is that the moment I told God that, okay, okay, I'm listening. Well, I'm not going to ask you why you let it happen anymore i'm not going to blame myself for this not to let it happen i'm going to ask you because they said everything the bible said everything working out for our good not something mm -hmm. everything so if losing over 30 us dollars to this stupid man if that is going to work out to my good i want you to show me the lesson and the, the moment i changed my prayer to that i found the lesson and not only that kind of lesson, I got my 30k. That's the truth. I, I'm still dragging that guy for my 30k because he must pay that money. He, that money, to make with that day. My people say, my, my God, my God, no green, no day. He must pay that money. But God actually gave me, that money was restored to me. Within three months mm. of when I said I pray, God, teach me the lesson. Mm. I got jobs. Yeah. And I made on one in one month, mm. and I got a bonus. One thing is, if you're if you're faithful in your relationship, there is this thing they call it karma. People don't believe in it, but I so much believe in it because after the holy juma, I got pregnant, I gave back to my church, and I determined in my mind just let him be because he's not even doing anything, and it was like that. He went, not, not even checking back on us again.
So with the help of friends, my parents, I'll pay for my kids' school fees. You know, I after garden, there is no work. So I learned this catering, uh, cake baking and stuff like that, you know, to support the uh, my own little family. 2020, he came back with an illness, illness a brain tumor. You know, he, the wife he, left. He told, told, that, below he told you that your disability was why he could shame you. And now look at what he got. He thought That's that just it. disability was a reason for him. He to said it. It's not even him. about. It's not even about thinking it in his brain. He said it that there is nothing. Uh, you've not done anything wrong, but you know you can't work for me. There are many things facing. Let me tell you, ma. Disability is in Nigeria is another is an another you can't level so entirely. For me, that's why I'm going to be an irresponsible father to three children. You know, because you can't. So you can't. You can't wear. You can't wear heels because I can't wear heels. I only wear sandals. I'll be strapped to my leg. You know stuff like that. It's through my mental health. You know, when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm not beautiful. When I do stuff, when I put on clothes, I'll just. Sit. But at the point where he left, ma, at the time he left, and I was done, totally done. You know, there's a limit to what you can take. I was already pushed to the world. I was like, okay, go away, and I started seeing myself. You know, compliment. People look at me. Oh, see you. You're fine. You're beautiful. I'll go and check back. See, when it comes to beauty, it is what you put in your brain. Even when others are telling you you are not fine, when when your self esteem is life, okay, life is you see your the head. I say it all the time. Life is lived in the head. It's all about what you tell yourself. No, and I started lived. going out, making friends. I don't even want to hide again. I'll tell many people what I what I went through, tell them my experience about life. So when you talk, you know people are passing through a lot. It might be different from yours. Absolutely. You encourage each other. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. I, I've met many uh aside him, I've met many guys. Some are here to help. Some are here to you know, the little milk you have in your in your fridge. Some are some uh, are here to just make you dry. Where some really care about you genuinely genuinely i met a man let's say three months around november last year mm -hmm. you know he doesn't have much he's not rich which i'm not complaining he doesn't have much but i've never seen someone that will care that care like that in my entire life you know what i mean that's why you can never have but a when love it's coming. if you give up a love with that first one would you have open, be open to me talk to this one sir no that's why it's not like you know what? There's a good people. Even if, if, if it is um fifteen era biscuit, he will make sure he buy. The way I was just, I always tell my mom, "What is mommy? What is, what is wrong with this man?" My mom was like, "Ah, what happened? Is this not what is?" I said, "Yeah, I prayed for somebody, but I, I'm just seeing it in an entire. How will a guy like care like ah, this? This is strange because I've never seen that kind of love aside from my parents. Probably a guy would just be crazy over you." You know, treat you like a baby. You, you know. I hope. I, well, I hope. With, he, I hope he's able to level up and get the money to really. And because the truth of the matter is, one of the reason why I am never dating poor men anymore is because you don't know a man's true character until he has money. I think every man is good. It's not even about level up at this time. Nobody. When it comes to marriage, marriage is never in my dictionary. Yeah. My kids are still small. So I have fourteen. Yeah. I have fourteen. I have I have 12, I have 6. So I still have to push them to some certain level. Well, you know? When they get to that. Why don't you think marriage? I feel like marriage is empowering. Marriage yeah, is yeah. Making yes, if you're right. Well, nobody is ready. No man is. No, don't let me say no man. Let's say 90% are not ready to marry you without getting kids. I'm, I'm done with making uh, babies. Three, I'm have done. A point. That's my own problem, too. I'm done yeah. with making babies here. So, so I'm done. I'm done. Don't, I'm don't, done. Don't give up on marriage because you're done with because there's a, lot, there's a lot of men that are done with babies. You just need to put out what you really want. That's that's me. I'm 45 mm. years old. I'm definitely okay. done with making babies, but I'm definitely good. And I'll be 30, I'll be 34 in two months' time by yeah, April. Still very, very young, so, and quite honestly, mm. a lot of older men who are done with. If you're open to dating older than you. A lot of men in their forties who are done with their children, they, 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 you will be, they will pick you, but they pick me because they want younger women. So please don't close the door, marriage. Believe that everything is true. But you know what? At the end of the day, 
no matter how they are done with making babies when you get closer and at the end of the day they will tell you oh no i've been spending i've been doing this even if just only one let, just let one me tell spend. you something now. let me tell you something and uh, i'm gonna say something that's hopefully i won't regret i don't do regrets but my mom told me one thing when i was pregnant for my first son and i realized that i would never marry his father because the father had lied to me. Um, I did him as a single person. I didn't know he went to Nigeria from in New York to go and get married and then come back and pretend like nothing happened. Hmm. Um, so, so when I knew that I was not going to marry my son's father and I was very, you know, I was young. I would say I was depressed, but I was kind of depressed um, as a young woman trying to bring a child to the world. My mom told me this thing and she said, my darling, I I've been married for 20 something years that you know but i want you to know that you don't have a baby for a man so even the person that is married is most likely not different from you we hmm. women don't have babies for men they have babies for themselves you are the one that's going to mm -hmm. take care of the baby not a man mm -hmm. just know that mm -hmm. so this was coming mm -hmm. from a married woman my mother has been married for now 40 something years mm -hmm. and that really opened my eyes because let me tell you something right now one thing that you have to know is that you see how god gave us custody of the womb god gave us the decision to be yeah. a long time to yeah. actually make that decision mine but if you know that you don't want to have a child it's only yourself you left to convince sure any sort sure, of sure. devil that comes into your life and want to tempt you into you can tell him don't worry i see that i'm not yeah sure this is mm -hmm. your way that you want to use and break up. No, what, no problems. You can be going. That's the door. Because we had this mm -hmm. conversation earlier on, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. please, um, just know that you're, you're, mm -hmm. don't let anybody carry you away. No one go. So let's talk about. Lie, lie. Let's talk about what you need. So what do you need right now? Do you need love or do you need money? Ah, uh, I will not pick love. <laughs> oh, I need money. You, know you can have both. You don't have to pick uh yes by luck but right now money is important but by luck i think you can have boots you just need to believe faith is the first you know, ingredient to success if you mm. really want something you have to believe that you can get it mm. okay so let's talk about mm. money um so what what kind of money do you need right now mm, pre the, my present need now i'm a postgraduate student student because okay. i'm still fordering i'm oh, doing my master's i'm so, so proud of you like i'm sure i hope your parents are very proud of you thank yes, i'm so proud thank of you about disability and making all this strides you've had three babies you raised them the third one is already six years old you are doing business and now you're back in school something i've not even been able to convince myself to do yet yeah, wow. yeah I, suppose I, am to, so I suppose to have been done by now ma but you know waiting for nigeria to get better but in my own head i was like no it's not going to get better just let me start something so, so i'm done with first semester what is it and what course are you studying master's in education in, uh, in education administration and planning that's a good one actually that's a good yeah. one okay yeah so my present need now i want to pay for my second semester fee okay. that's the only okay. issue i have now for okay. now. So, so second semester fee. Before we get to that, I'm curious. What do you want to use this course for? Ma, um, when it comes to um, my focus, you know, after everything like this, I want to one thing I want to do before before this um sickness and everything, I want to be a medical doctor in my for what i like but i couldn't because due to my disability stress and working around and stuff like that so i already have this kind of okay if i can't be a doctor of medicine surely one day i'll be a doctor of books that's the number one goal i don't tell people but it's in my mind but when it comes to administration and planning stuff like that i mean so event management that is one secondly it is easier because uh the way they say when you have this IR degree in Nigeria, it will be easier for you to get a job. And I was like, okay, it, it is based on planning and office work. So by the time the opportunity comes, you know, I have the right um, qualifications to put on ground. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about education and management, I'm thinking you want to lead a school, like you want to be a school principal or something like that. That's not what you're. Mm, yes, it's not. It's not easy like that. 
like that like that but already i have that in plan but you know whatever when you want to do something like that you have to have enough money but pending the time you know i want to work get the little stuff you know before i could just say this okay. is this okay so your second semester tuition how much is it is 126 so 126k so what do you do for a living right now and why don't you have that tuition i'm a baker ma i'm a baker so how much do you make, I bake you make a month? how much do you make uh, a month before a month before that was last year i think as my own gain mm -hmm. let's say about 60 or 70 or it can even be more than that yeah because 60 or 70 can even be more than children. that's even though your sugar might be cheaper than lagos but with three children that's still a very low income they're so very have, very very low have a very low income so have you thought about how you can increase your income with what you're doing right now or at least you're doing something mm, right now generally i won't like people are here when it comes to cost of production now it's not even favorable people are not even others are not even coming in as before you understand Stand. others are not coming in as before so one thing i do now uh even still many things still are at stake but i drop ship here but things are not even coming don't let me lie i'm even scared of putting money into it like before we buy uh i always buy a bag of flour a pack of uh um butter a bag of sugar right now bag of sugar is is about ninety five thousand naira. Hmm. so things things are not fair i'm even scared of putting money okay uh, assist me or let me put it on my business for now you know I'm, I'm scared i don't want the situation whereby you know i will just be stuck because i remember the last time i stopped up flour. you know so something happened i have to just put it away because we've already in, in it and bag of flour before you finish it before a month thereabouts so, so let me tell you this um from one single okay. mother to another um, okay, i finished my college my first degree i got my first degree about 15 years ago because you said something about exposure so i want to open your mind just a little bit um i finished okay. my okay. education in 2008 my first degree when i was in university a lot of my professors advised me to go straight to my phd because in america you can just go straight from your bachelor's to your phd if you have mm -hmm. the right gp and i did have the right gpa and i remember thinking about i really well, I'm, well, I, what i'm doing right now is teaching that's my calling that's what i love to do so i really wanted to become a professor but at the time i already had my first son and i was pregnant for my second son and also even though i'm here in america and most nigerians think america everybody's rich but my parents were struggling my dad retired before we even came to america my mom mm -hmm. was sleeping, carrying everybody and she was tired herself so i just felt like i needed to have a job so i could support my parents and also so i could support my children because one thing i told myself the fact that i the fact that i decided to be a single mom because i didn't have to keep any of my children i could have aborted them but i decided to keep them i decided to bring them to this world and my promise to them was that they will not lack just because that they don't have any father that uh, is responsible right and so mm -hmm. i made that decision to go to work and not just go to work go to the highest bidder to work um and since then i tried to when i lost my job in 2014 i actually registered back for my master's degree my MBA and I started my MBA actually dropped out, even though dropping out meant I had, I think it was 20 something thousand mm -hmm. a student mm -hmm. which I had to pay back, even though I didn't get the degree. But because I calculated, I eventually got a job. So I calculated that this is my job, don't really, if I get MBA, they won't advance me so much because of this. Uh, this uh, and me, I'm not. Mm, that, that's the difference between where you are yeah. and here in Nigeria so they won't pay me more because of you know i have that degree and if i finish the degree i would have had over a hundred and fifty thousand dollars in student loans so i'm like oh, i beg let me just close my eye and pay this 25k instead of going on and having 150k so mm -hmm. the reason why i'm telling you this is because here in america we talk about america versus nigeria i think the average american is more able to it's not everybody I'm saying, people are still getting degrees in this country that they don't know what they want to use it for so the average mm -hmm. American is more able to look at their degree as an investment 
right? Um, I think in Nigeria, a lot of people do kind of what you're doing, which is like, let me just get the degree. We'll see what I can do with it. Or I just want to satisfy myself. I want to be a doctor. Just like you, I know that I'm going to get my PhD eventually. I want to be a doctor. That's, that's part of my life plan. But I just want you to know that as a parent right now, right, the more important thing to you should be your income, okay? Mm -hmm. So because your business is struggling, is not any reason why you should tell yourself, oh, let me just not worry about the income I'm losing and focus on getting money to pay this tuition. Because me and you know that this, the job from the tuition is going to take at least a year, right? You're in your second year now, second semester, first year. Yes, I will be done by December. Done the program by December. I will be done, yeah. Okay, so that's not even far. That's not very far. That's a whole different. It's not. That's not very far. Mm -hmm. So maybe from now, start thinking about what you want to do with this program, with this degree. So that as you are investing in it, you see you are working. Because one thing Americans also do that Nigerians don't do very well is that when we are in school, we walk towards the work we are going to do when we finish school. So that is easier to get that work, right? Yeah. So right now, start thinking of different ways you can use your degree, right? And as you are going to school, start seeing where you might volunteer so that those hours will act as experience for when you start looking for work. Yes, yes. Because yes. if you go to any school right now, you say, oh, I want to end up as a principal. I've never thought before. I don't have this thing. If you're not... If no, you're I've not, done that before. I've done uh, temporary staff before. As in this I've school. done it. Yes, in a tertiary institution. I've done a temporary okay. start before. I have the experience. Then what's, what prompted me most was, you know, if you want to lecture with a first degree, even without being get paid, like you just want to have the experience, they will tell you to have your master's or you're doing it. Okay. So, so, so that's you what your mind like that. is, is to work in a tertiary institution. Yes, to be a lecturer okay. at least. Yeah, so keep keep working on that goals. Volunteer your time as a, a substitute teacher. As you're mm. in school, then see undergraduate students you can be helping. That might give you more income than even the baking. If you can be helping the undergraduate students, tutor them, help help them to you know teach them how to write some papers, teach them in mm. some courses mm. you're good at, right? That's happening. Students' life, that's a very good, profitable way to make money. What do students want? Do you live close to the school? No. Okay, so you don't live close to the school because now, I mean, with the business space, when you talk about your baking business, it's not doing well. My next question to you is, what do people in your area need? Right? What do people mm. in your area need? Focus on that so you can find a business that can be bringing you. Yes, I really focused on that too. And I did something because I have a shop before, rented shop before, but I was given a space now somewhere for free in front of our house. So I already built the shop. I've roofed it now. I've roofed the shop mm -hmm. because what uh it is buying and selling buying of sweet biscuits in oases and stuff that was what drinks that was what they look for in my street because it's a residential area well, so I, i've done that ma so why are you not doing that still i've done that no i already roofed it ma <laughs> it's not that i'm not doing it it's just to put money together we are in february i just paid my kids school fees so things are not i i under you ought to understand me <laughs> Paid for three no, kids. I understand you. you know? understand. So it looks like you're already working towards the right things. You yes. just need to do more. Yes, I'm working. I'm working. It's just that, you know. Oh, you are. So yeah, let's um let's put this out there. I really hope that somebody can reach out to you and help you with this tuition because quite honestly, I'm very impressed by you. If I wasn't broke right now, I would pay that tuition for you.